Tonight's city zoning board meeting was packed with Jones Valley residents, residents who are concerned about the proposed construction of 11 three story apartment buildings off of four mile post road and Garth Road. Our Nixon Norman is outside of City Hall with more Nixon. What can you tell us? That's right, Kanisha. Tonight's meeting here at City Hall was absolutely electric. Nearly every seat in the house was taken by city residents who are concerned about those proposed 11 apartment buildings set to be built in the Jones Valley area. Now, unfortunately, for those who did attend tonight's meeting, public comments on the matter were actually not allowed. And again, unfortunately, for those concerned residents, these apartments were actually approved years ago, back in 2012. Look, here's the reality, and I'm speaking to both my colleagues and the people that are showed up. And, and by the way, thank you for showing up. This is still America, and we appreciate it, okay? I know you're mad about not getting to talk, but uh, uh, you, you, you've, you've, you've invested a bunch of money in a place to live, and you love where you live. And all of a sudden, one day, somebody pops up and says, we're going to stick some apartments up here. This body is not in a position to deny it. We really can only vote whether it's compliant or not. Um, somebody else, you know, you either mistakenly understood something or it was represented in a way that you didn't understand. And that is really where your battle is. It's disappointing not to be able to talk in there. There was a comment made by one of the commissioners that uh, this is America and there's freedom of speech, yet we weren't allowed to speak. Um, so it's, it's disappointing in the outcome of the Planning Commission um, vote on the issue of the apartments. And what I believe is what we see is it's, it's a typical bait and switch. If a retail business were to present a plan or present a product and sell that product to a group of people, and when they go to actually receive that product and find it something completely different, then that's actually against various codes and is actually a criminal activity. What we were given in the Linden proposal was a plan that showed single family homes along Garth and other multifamily homes further away from Garth. And uh, what we were presented tonight were apartment complexes right on Garth. And uh, so that's kind of a bait and switch. Now, due to the length of tonight's meeting and the sheer amount of information on this topic, I will be continuing coverage on this matter tomorrow. So be sure to tune back in to Fox 54 again tomorrow. Live in Huntsville, I'm Nixon Norman. Back to you guys in the studio, Fox 54.